What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wild Jump Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, in this video, I'm just going to talk about the new playoff seeding situation in the NBA. There's been some changes. This is something that I've been said that should have been happening a long time ago, and I actually kind of like it this way that it's going to go. I think it's going to be pretty cool and interesting to see how, you know, the playoffs, you know, seeding, you know, pretty much match up at the end of the day. Now, you know... Basically now, you know, the playoff teams will be seeded solely by their record. You know, throwing out the top four protection for teams who win their division. So no matter if you won your division, it's not really going to matter anymore. It's going to be about your record, okay? Um, the expected change was, you know, unanimously approved Tuesday by the league's board of governors. Teams in each conference will be seeded from one to eight by their one, uh, one loss record. Previously, division winners, you know, um, they were guaranteed no worse than the number four seed, a rule that had became heavily criticized last season. When Portland ended up number four, you know, in the in the Western Conference, despite having the sixth best record in the conference, um, the league also changed the tiebreaker procedures, making the head-to-head -head results the first tiebreaker for seeding and home court advantage, and rather the team won its division for the second tiebreaker. A division winner previously got the home court advantage if it met a team with the same record in the playoffs. So these are some big, big changes. I'm loving it. Um, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, it's going to be once it comes to play, once the playoffs do come. But speaking about that whole Portland situation, I'm just going to read you guys something real quick. These was the seasons of 2014-2015 with the old format. Golden State, Houston, Clippers, Portland, Memphis, Spurs, Dallas, New Orleans. This is how it would have been under the new rules. Golden State, Houston, Clippers, Memphis, Memphis, Spurs, Portland, Dallas, New Orleans. You see the difference now? Yeah, exactly. So, it's going to be pretty good, man. I think this is a big, big step. Um, I, I fucking love it. And, uh, hopefully, it turned out right. Hopefully, we can see the teams play each other that deserve to play each other. It's going to be pretty fucking cool. Um... Should be some nice matchups, man. We might see the Pacers Heat or or, or, or the Heat Cavs or it's going to be crazy, man. I'm, I'm just, you know, it might still be some teams that suck in the East regardless, but, you know, it's going to be fucking good. But um, you guys comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share, tell me what you think about this situation. Should they keep it the same? Do you like the changes? Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, kick all them social media websites, man, and I'm out. Deuces.